Symptoms of Ovulation Top 10 Ovulation Symptoms Which Are Help You Get Pregnant 1. Cervical Mucus Observing your cervical mucus several times a day is also important, as this is one of the more reliable ovulation symptoms. Your mucus changes in response to being at fertile or infertile stages of your cycle. It's also a good indicator of when your fertility has returned after having a baby. Cervical mucus changes with fluctuations in hormones. Following a period, mucus will typically be dry before becoming sticky, then creamy, then watery, before its most fertile state clear, slippery, and stretchy. Highly fertile mucus looks like raw egg white. This best aids the sperm on its passage to the egg, and provides an alkaline protection from the vagina's acidic environment. As you get older, you will have fewer days of egg white cervical mucus EWCM. For example, a woman in her 20s might have up to 5 days of EWCM, whereas women in their late 30s might have 1 or 2 days at most. 2. Ovulation pain. The most uncomfortable ovulation symptom for some women is ovulation pain or Mittelschmerz, a German word meaning mid pain. For these women, ovulation causes a sudden, constant pain in their lower abdomen. It's important to understand that painful ovulation is not normal. A mild sensation is normal, but pain is not. It could be a sign you have ovarian cysts, adhesions from previous abdominal surgery, or other heath issues. It should be investigated right away, especially if you are trying to conceive, as pain can be a symptom of a medical problem that can result in infertility. 3. Cervical Position your cervix gives away some fantastic clues as to when you are fertile. Checking your cervix position is a helpful tool to work out when ovulation is near. You'll probably need a few cycles to get the hang of it and understand all the variations and changes in your cervix. Checking the position of your cervix is best done at the same time each day, as it doesn't remain in one spot all day. Always wash your hands before you check your cervix. Just like your cervical mucus, the cervix is clever and changes to optimize the chances of conception. When you're not fertile, you'll notice your cervix feels low, hard, like the tip of your nose, and dry. To identify a fertile cervix, remember show, soft, more like your earlobe, high, open and wet. 4. Drop in basal body temperature in order to notice a drop in your basal body temperature, you need to chart your cycle, taking your temperature every morning upon waking, close to the same time every day. Charting plays a key role in understanding your cycle, and identifying what your body is doing and what it normally does. If you haven't been charting your cycle previously, this information won't be helpful for this cycle. But now is a great time to start. Read our article, Charting Your Cycle for Conception, and in future you will be able to spot a slight temperature drop before you ovulate. You will need a basal thermometer. These are specifically designed for measuring slighter than normal fluctuations in temperature. They are accurate to plus slash 0.05 degrees centigrade, measuring to two decimal places. There are several fertility thermometers on the market these days, but as long as it's a basal thermometer, you're set. After ovulation, you will notice your temperature normally rises, and stays that way until your next period. If you become pregnant, your temperature stays higher. This is how some women know when to expect their period, noting a drop in temperature around the time their period is due. 5. Increased Energy Level 6. Heightened sense of vision, smell, and taste. 7. Water retention. 8. Breast tenderness and sensitivity. 9. Increased libido. 10. Spotting. Mid-cycle spotting is believed to be a result of the sudden drop of estrogen prior to ovulation. Due to there being no progesterone right away, the lining can leak a small amount of blood until then.